In the previous video, we created our instance of resend. However, now we would like to send email with our custom domain. On my resend dashboard, on the sidebar, I have a domain. And when I click on it, I can click on add a domain. We are going to add a domain to be able to send emails directly from our custom address email. So when I click on it here, I'm going to put codewithguillaume.com, which is actually a domain that I own and that I already bought by the past. And here we see that we got many options, different regions. Here I got North Virginia, Ireland, and Sao Paulo. Here I'm going to take North Virginia and I'm going to click on add. Immediately here, we see that we access a new page with all the uh, information concerning codewithguillaume.com on resend, right? So down there, we see that we got records to add to our DNS record. This is where the uh, domain name is um, actually set up. So I'm going to show you how to add those DNS records on Vercel and on Netlify. So first on Netlify here, you have to go to domains, then you have to add a new record. And when you click on it, you got the form to add the records. There are three records to add. First, the MX with the host name send. So here I'm gonna to go to the MX and this is for the email. And here the value is going to be send, okay? I'm gonna come back and down here we see that I got an address, an SMTP address, then I got a copy. And I'm going to add here on the value, the, the SMTP address on Amazon. Then the priority, we saw it's 10 and the TTL is okay. So now I am adding this, so I got my MX record in here. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna add the second record, which is the TXT on send again. This subdomain will be used by resend to send the email. So here I'm going to click here. And when I come down, I got my TXT. And as a value, I'm going to use send again. And I'm going to use this code again, coming from Amazon that we will use. And I'm going to click on save and be safe here. It's send.codewithguillaume.com. You will be able to send your email from codewithguillaume.com and not send.codewithguillaume.com. Okay, so I got the last record again, this TXT. So here I'm going to add the last record, which is the TXT. And here the name is going to be resend and domain key. And I need to copy paste this code that I have here, which is actually a key that is going to be used to send the email. So I'm going to paste it and click on save. And then here for Netlify, we should be good. On Vercel, this is a bit different. You go on your domain name and then you click here on the button domains. Once it's done, you should access to a list of domain. And here we see that we got our main domain on production. So I'm gonna click on edit. After that, on the bottom, I click on view DNS record and more for domain.app. And this is where you are going to add all the keys that we saw previously, which are here, down here, the MX, TXT, TXT, exactly like we did. And this is the same process. Once it's done, what you need to do is to click up here on verify DNS record. It's going to launch a process and your domain name will be verified in some minutes. So I'm going to uh, get back here and I'm going to click on verify domain name. And here we see that we are waiting, we got the status pending and we are waiting for the website to be checked, for the records to be checked, sorry. And then the website will update the status of your domain name. And this is good, 15 minutes after my status is on verified, all my DNS records succeed to be verified. We see here that I got uh, my MX, TXT, TXT that are verified also. So I can start to send email with my custom domain. Back in my recent route, I got my from here that I need to change. And here I'm going to put whatever at codewithguillaume.com, all right? And I still got the same email that I got here. So I'm gonna come back to my postman and I'm going to trigger the send. And down there we see that we've got the request on 200 that has been passed. Now let's see in my email if I received the test email that I sent and if it's coming from the address of my own domain. And look at this, it perfectly worked. I got my address here, code with Guillaume, uh, that send an email, welcome, John. So as long as I'm using the domain that I own and I set up every DNS record, I'm able to use any address that I want under my mail address. You are now ready to send all your email with your custom domain through resend. 
Of course, you cannot use public domain. You cannot use, for instance, Gmail or Yahoo or Outlook to send your email. With Resend, you are obliged to get your own custom domain. So the best thing is to go on a website and to buy a domain name to set it up. And then you can send all your email with the address that you want through Resend.